नमस्कार गुड आफ्टरनून यू आर वॉचिंग मी ऑन पी एम ई विद्या चैनल एंड एन सी आर टीज ऑफिशियल यूट्यूब चैनल वी ब्रिंग यू द टेलीकास्ट प्रोग्राम ऑफ इंग्लिश क्लास टेन एंड द पोएम विच वी आर गोइंग टू लर्न टूडे इज अ टाइगर इन द जू द एक्साइटमेंट बिगिन विद द टाइटल सो आई वुड रिक्वेस्ट प्रोफेसर आर मेघनाथन वेलकम टू द शो वेलकम टू द सेशन professor saab uh, you are here and uh, i'm sure there is some excitement there is some questions there is some activity in this okay. poem in class 10th today okay. okay good afternoon everybody very learners and of course you, <laughs> Thank uh, you. yeah uh, this is a poem on tiger mm -hmm. and how your tiger feels in the zoo okay. and the tiger uh, in the wild in the forest feels okay. so uh, it's about of course not simply uh, the tiger's life and our lives also right so you know that during this period almost one year we have one been half, under yes. some lockdown yes. so how do you feel uh, when you are locked down always <laughs> uh, depressed boring uh, so and i think uh, we are not at all uh, feel fine and yeah, that's right not so, healthy so uh, the poem is symbolically suggesting right, something right, agree. so let me not tell you i can, uh, I can le feel i can feel <laughs> <laughs> so le let's not uh, uh, tell it uh, right. beforehand right. so let's read the poem and do that okay, okay come on now let me ask you and uh, learners uh, let okay. me ask you uh, some questions oh. so uh, le let's see the questions there uh, here is the tiger in the zoo it was drawn by a class 4 child wow. uh, his name is in my neighborhood ashwin okay. so i requested him so his his image of how tiger being almost uh, confined in yes. the uh, zoo okay. but still he has given green color i don't okay. know why because he must be longing uh, to be in the greens yes. okay fine okay, let me also ask you some oh. of the questions how does it feel to look at a tiger uh, walking around your neighborhood oh it must be scary for me uh, yeah then everyone will get get scared yes uh, yeah it's not dog or something <laughs> so then then have you ever seen a tiger in a zoo Yes, yes, I ah. have seen it. And so, what were your feeling when you was, saw? It was very excited to to watch him. Watch him, but what if you had the tiger? What would you have felt? I think he was uh, he was not happy because he was in the cage. Confined. Confined. So the freedom is right. Yes. Away. That's freedom the, is not. Uh, learners, this is what exactly the poem talks yes, about. Yes, right, right. So the moral story. Uh, yeah, uh, it's not moral. It's kind of an experience. Yes. Okay, come on, let's read the poem for the learners. Okay. I, I think. Uh, we should read uh, two three times meaningfully well to yes. make uh, the learners understand look at it he talks he, he stalks in his vivid strips a okay. few steps of his cage or pad of velvet quiet in his quiet rage he should be lurking in shadow sliding through long grass near the water hole where plum deer pass he should be snarling around houses at the jungle's edge baring his white fangs and his claws terrorizing the village but he is locked in a concrete cell his strength begin boss stalking the length of his cage ignoring visitors he hears the wo lost voice at night the patrolling cars and stares his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars so i'm not going to talk about anything of the poet we will leave it to the learners to find out who the poet is i also don't know let me admit honestly <laughs> because when you read your poem okay uh, we should read the poem okay. at the school level call it university level that's different right. so uh, what the poet what the poet says in the poem is important than uh, who the poet is of course to some extent mm -hmm. come on let, now let's look at it let me let me request you to read or let, let let's play the audio okay let's play the audio uh, learners listen to the audio uh, audio again the poem from your ncert textbook how do you embed it a tiger in the zoo with the tiger in its natural habitat the poem moves from the zoo to the jungle and back again to the zoo read the poem silently once and see which stanzas speak about the tiger in the zoo and which ones speak about the tiger in the jungle now the poem he stalks in his vivid stripes the few steps of his cage on pads of velvet quiet in his quiet rage he should be lurking in shadow sliding through long grass near the water hole where plump deer pass he should be snarling around houses at the jungle's edge baring his white fangs his claws terrorizing the village 
but he is locked in a concrete cell, his strength behind bars, stalking the length of his cage, ignoring visitors. He hears the last voice at night, the patrolling cars, and stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars. Fine. The poet is... Okay, fine. So we know the name of the poet. Now look at it, there are four stanzas. Mm -hmm. Alternatively the poet talks about uh, the forest. first stanza, uh, forest. And, and in the, the jungle, in the zoo. Uh, in the, in the zoo sorry. Okay. So now look at the look at the uh, lines again. Okay. Uh, uh, let me request you to read the first stanza. Yes, yes, mm -hmm. please. So mm -hmm. the first stanza says, he stalks in his vivid stripes, the few steps of his cage, on pads of velvet, quiet in his quiet rage. Uh, look at. I think <laughs> the writer, you know, talks about the uh, zoo. The zoo. Uh, so now the tiger is in this zoo. Yes. Okay. He stalks in his vivid stripes. Yes. You know, he stalks, you know, he walks like a kind of majestic, right. you know, the majestic king. Right. F a few steps, but how many steps? He can how walk. Many? <laughs> very few, few, few steps. Few very steps. Few steps. Yes. On pads of velvet, quiet. You no. Know? Right. The, the 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 floor is like you no know, velvet velvet carpet. Right. Look at it. On the pads of velvet, quiet. In his quiet rage, he he is ferocious rage, right. but quiet. Right. Because he can't do anything. Yes. So look at it. He stalks in his vivid stripes. At the few steps of his cage, of bats of velvet quiet in his quiet rage. He is rage, he is outrageous, he is right. ferocious, but right. he has to be quiet because right. he is inside. Now we look at the, for uh, yeah. him. Now, now so let the next stanza is, uh, please read. He should be lurking in shadow, sliding through long grass near the water hole where plump deer pass. Okay, look at it. Now what he should be doing? He should be lurking in the shadow of trees. Lurking means uh, light rings, uh, you know, just lying down okay. and sliding through the grasses. He must be making, uh, you know, just sliding through the grasses near the water hole. Okay. And with the plum, uh, he must be waiting for a deer to pass and right, uh, right. bounce on it. Just to catch but a, but to what catch is he now deer. doing? But he is somewhere else. <laughs> okay, now look at the look at the next uh, next line. Okay. Uh, please read. He should be snarling around houses at the jungle's edge, bearing his white fangs, his claws, terrorizing the village. Okay, what he should be doing? He should be uh, coming. Uh, he is uh, <laughs> actually um, out of the forest uh. and he is trying to come in into the village. Villages so, terrorizing the village. village. Okay. And at the end of the jungle, the edge yes. of the jungle, yes. with his fangs, you know, on seeing the, his fangs, you know, the, the, okay. uh, the, the legs, you know, fingers, okay. whatever you say, toes, okay. claws. People okay. should be terrorized. Yes. But that's not the case. Now he is in the cage. Zoo. Look at it again. But so the next stanza says, mm. but he's locked in a concrete cell. So now the writer uh, talks about the zoo. Mm. His strength behind bars, because his uh, strength is you know behind mm. the bars, he's locked into it, stalking the length of his cage. Ignoring visitors. Ah, he doesn't even want to see the visitors because he is con <laughs> <He's> not interested. <laughs> yeah, because we are interested. When yes. we visit the zoo, right. we, it is we are interested. Right. Animals maybe uh, not. Yes. We do not know. Uh, particularly a tiger and uh, lion, they live in their own world because very slow animals on yes. one count. Right. Okay. He is now locked instead okay. of roaming around loitering uh, right. uh, see, uh, whatever way he wants, mm -hmm. but he is locked. Ignoring the visitors. Now look at it. Last sentence. Please read. He hears the last voice at night, the patrolling cars, mm. and stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars. Mm. What what he should be doing in the jungle? He should be roaming around, and the evening he must yes. be listening the uh, forest officers forest patrolling. Forest officers patrolling cars. Uh, uh. Stares with his brilliant eyes at and the, the brilliant stars uh. because he's free. Free. So the poet he can use roam any you know anywhere around the jungle fine forest okay now okay. Uh, the task for you and the uh, learners is okay let's let's look at it you will have to uh, I will keep the uh, lines of the poem for you now okay. you have to see what does the please let us look at the uh, paper here uh, uh, let, let's look at the paper here okay. so tiger in the zoo hmm. and tiger in the wild that is in the forest okay so what do, uh, what does it do. I, I want to give you the poem. Come on. From okay. here you read and say. <laughs> okay. Tiger in the zoo. He stalks. Uh, uh, means? In the vivid stripes. Okay. In his vivid stripes. Okay. Stalks. So he stalks. Okay. Right. In the zoo. Okay. In the zoo. Mm. And the tiger in the wild mm. lurking in the shadow. Uh, lurking in the shadow of trees. Huh? Yes. 
uh, lacking under trees. I am writing. Okay. Okay. Fine. Then. But if we talk about tiger in the zoo, uh, then hardly he a few steps to walk. A few so steps. A few steps of his cage. Uh, a few steps, and in cage. Okay. Hmm. Then in cage, where in the wild, hmm. he is free, sliding through long grass. Okay, sliding through the long grass. Okay, sliding through the um, grass. I am writing grass. Okay. 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 Then uh, on pairs of velvet, quiet. In his quiet ke, quiet he rage, is, he is quiet. Hmm? He has to be quiet because there is no option for him to do. And anything. but he is he is raged. raged. Yes. He is uh, yeah ferocious but yes. quiet quiet yes. here here. And but if we talk about if he is in the wild hmm. environment, hmm. so he is free and he can roam around the um, you know near the water hole okay. where plump deer hmm. pass. And so he is waiting for deer actually. Yeah okay, near near the water near the water hole water 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 hole then. And uh, waiting for waiting for deer to waiting to hunt. Let yes. us say. no waiting to the, hunt yes. or waiting to bounce on the de yes, deer. Okay. Suppose, actually, this is more appropriate. <laughs> uh, kill kill the uh, deer. Okay. okay. Uh, and then then. Uh, so the next answer says he should be snarling around houses. Hmm. So snarling around houses. Uh, snarling around means uh, uh, around the houses. Huh? Yes. Around the houses near the near the forest. Okay. But near the forest. Okay. Then then. Then at the jungle's edge, hmm. bearing his white fangs, his claws, terrorizing the village. Okay. So this is talk about the freedom of the tiger. Okay, terrorizing. Yes, uh, uh, that means it's in the wild, terrorizing yes. the village. Yes, terrorizing the village. If he is on the edge of the jungle. Okay, then. So bearing his white fangs and his claws, hmm. are waiting for the hunt. Okay, now, fine. Well, uh, these are the things you know. When someone is uh, confined. Mm -hmm. uh, well, he loses his freedom, right? And someone is free; he is free to do things. And the, the, look at the uh, lines. The uh, again, uh, mm -hmm. uh, let's look at the uh, this one. Uh, uh, look at the words the poet is uh, using uh, when the poet, uh, when the when the tiger is in the zoo. Look at it. He is quiet, velvet quiet, and quiet rage. Look at the second and third, uh, fourth line. Yes. Then look at when he is uh, uh, he is in the wild. That is in the forest. He is. He is sliding through the grass and look at the word water hole. He is free. Then uh, he is waiting to uh, hunt, kill, bounce on at, at uh, deer. deer. Then, then he should be look at the second thing. What he should be doing in the uh, now? What he is he doing? He should be snarling around houses yes. in the jungle's edge and he is terrorizing others. Whereas when he is in in the zoo, yes. uh, what is he is being terrorized? Yes. But he is locked in concrete cell. Look yes. at it. We are also locked in concrete cell. We are humans. Right. <laughs> yes. This is a so, concrete cell. Yeah. So uh, we can real very well connect with the uh, our experience during lockdown period. Right. It will. It is very difficult for us yes. to remain at home the whole whole day, right. and we feel that let's go out and do something. Yes. The same feeling uh, any being on earth human will have. Yes. But in spite of all that, we want to confine children into school. Sit right. five hours. Don't go right. out and don't <laughs> ask questions. Right. So we have to really think about it. Yes. So uh, we have to we have to have freedom. But mm. how how far we can have freedom is another thing. Yes. Maybe that's uh, altogether another thing. Now look at the last answer. Okay. He hears the lost voice at night. He is in the jungle now. Mm -hmm. Am I am I right? Yes. And yes. patrolling the cars uh, at the at the, the, at the end of the officers. road. Mm -hmm. Brilliant eyes and brilliant stars. Yes. These are the words uh, the poet uses. Right. So I am going to request you to. Uh, Play the audio again for the uh, learners, uh, uh, so that uh, they get to know how a poem is to be read out. Then we. The poem moves from the zoo to the jungle, fine, and back again to the zoo. Read the poem silently once, and see which stanzas speak about the tiger in the zoo. And which ones speak about the tiger in the jungle? Now the poem. He stalks in his vivid stripes, the few steps of his cage, on pads of velvet quiet, in his quiet rage. He should be lurking in shadow, sliding through long grass near the water hole, where plump deer pass. He should be snarling around houses, at the jungle's edge, 
baring his white fangs, his claws, terrorizing the village. But he is locked in a concrete cell, his strength behind bars, stalking the length of his cage, ignoring visitors. He hears the last voice at night, the patrolling cars, and stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars. The poet is... All right. Uh, uh, learners, it's important to read the poem many a time, right. three, four times in order to decode it. Uh, and it's not fair on my part to explain line by line, word by word, the message of the poem. Just of the, the, story, uh, just poem, of the poem yeah. is very important. Uh, yeah. That's what. Okay. Right. Now, let's uh, look at the page and let us find out the rhyme scheme of the poem. Okay. Okay. Come on, look at the uh, paper here. Mm -hmm. um, I'll read out. You'll have to find out the sound of the last word and find the rhyme scheme. For example, he talks in his vivid stripes. Stripes, I, I give a, a few a few steps of his cage, B, cage, on pads of velvet quiet. So, A, stripe, quiet. Okay. Cage, cage rage. rage. In his, so, A, A, B, B is the rhyme scheme of the okay. poem. Okay. Now, I am going to read only the last line, you will have to supply. So, A, shadow, A, grass, B, hole, shadow, hole, not matching, but still, but still and yeah, grass, grass and pass. Okay, A, A, B, B. Okay. Then, he should be snarling around the houses, A, A. edge, B, then claws. A, claws and houses match, so A, cage and village match, yes, B, A, B, A, B. Then look at it, he is locked in a concrete cell, hmm? uh -huh. A, bars, B, this cage. is not matching, but cage, cell, cage, not matching, but still, then visitors. visitors. So, so, A, B, A, B. So, then mostly, mostly the poem has the rhyme scheme of A, B, A, B. Okay. Night, mm -hmm. cars, stars, yes. th this is not, but still, A, B, A, B. Right. So, learners, this is how uh, the English verse is constructed. We call it free verse. English okay. verse is not very, uh, uh, very seriously metrical composition, okay. very few, very few of them. Uh, otherwise, uh, they are simply uh, free verse okay. uh, and the, the rhyme scheme is the, the sound of the last word of each line. Mm -hmm. So, this poem has A, B, A, B uh, more or less the uh, rhyme scheme. Okay. Now, 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 look at it, I am going to ask you okay. again, uh, look at the paper here, okay. uh, what does the tiger do in the jungle in order to recall? Jungle or zoo? In the zoo, sorry, <laughs> uh, you are right, you are right, right, zoo. You have to now tell me again. Hmm. Okay, hmm. I think I I think I should cheat something. <laughs> okay, no problem. So he, I think he stalks. Hmm. As, uh, okay, I'm 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 using walks. Okay, walk. Walks, but restricted, huh? Yes. Hmm. Then, due to less space, we hmm. uh, he has uh, hardly few steps to uh, okay. walk. L uh, less space. Less space. Uh. Then few steps. Uh -huh. Few steps. Then. And uh, you can have a look at the poem. Yeah. Okay. <laughs> yeah. Then. And and also he is locked. Ah, uh, locked. Okay. In concrete cell. Concrete cell. Yes. Okay. And uh, he is very powerful, but his strength is locked. Uh, and then, okay. A quiet rage. Quiet rage. Quiet. But but bracket. A rage. Rage. Is okay. There. Then. And I think. Mm. But. He is bound, you know, in the in the uh, boundary of his cage, uh, yeah, so stalking yeah. the length of his cage only. Okay, fine. And, and uh, boundary. Then. And uh, he has to, you know, ignoring the visitors because he is being. Igno he is not happy. Okay, yes, he is he ignore. He, yes. he ignores the visitors. Yes. Okay. Okay, so let, the let, important, let, so hmm. the important part is ignores the visitors. Yeah, uh, he doesn't bother about them yes. because I myself is confined. Yes. Okay. What does the tiger tiger do in the uh, jungles wild? Oh, he is free, so he is, you know, lurking under the shadow of tree. Okay, lurking under the shadow of tree, under the tree. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. He has a long grass, a, a good ground. Uh, sliding through the, ground. Sliding so through the can, grass. He can slide, yes. Mm -hmm. 
through uh, the grass yes mm. and he can roam you know anywhere around the near water water pole okay roam around okay so that he can catch he can hunt. kill uh, bounce and kill a deer yes okay then hunt. and uh, at last he is free ultimately is free yes uh -huh. and he can uh, you know reach to the edge of the jungle fine and he can see the village and, and try to find some villagers if he can you know <laughs> catch somebody <laughs> he can terrorize the terrorizing, uh, terrorizing the village yes okay fine all right good good uh, you really uh, answered uh, all <laughs> my uh, all my things <laughs> now uh, let's look at the uh, uh, poem if 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 time permits uh, how, how much time you are giving me oh, we have we have hardly 5 minutes uh, 5 minutes okay fine okay let 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 me read out the poem let's come to the uh, slide there okay uh, let me read out the poem again to the learners uh, uh, let's look at the poem here uh, on the on the uh, slide he he stalks in his wild stripes he stalks in his vivid stripes you know the stripes are very beautiful vivid right okay he stalks in his vivid stripes a few steps of his cage on pads of velvet quiet in his quiet rage he should be lurking in shadow sliding through long grass near the water hole with plum deer paws he should be snorling around the houses at the jungle's edge baring his white fangs his claws terrorizing the village but he is locked in a concrete cell his strength behind the boss his strength his strength complete strength is behind the boss right stalking the length of his cage ignoring his visitors mm -hmm. he hears the lost voice at night the patrolling cars and stares his brilliant stares with his brilliant eyes at the brilliant stars now learners look at it the tiger in the zoo has different lifestyle different way of behaving tiger in the wild is right. behaving differently right now learners my request to you is read, read the poem as many times possible then uh, do some of the activities uh, and most of the activities are easier given at the end and when you visit a, uh, a zoo of course at the end of the uh, lockdown of the yes. end of the end after the when we are uh, totally free from no, covid, free, yeah, COVID <laughs> you visit and see and imagine how the uh, tiger the, the the animals would have felt in the even in the zoo because no there, there is nobody to look around right that's right so i'm going to uh, uh, give two um, uh, uh, kind of homework to learners okay. which you can see uh, uh, here Are zoos necessary for the protection and of our conservation of some of the species? I think yes. Hmm? I think yes. So does the zoo does it? Because does it do because, it? because it is easy for the you know veterinary uh, doctors and to uh, do research to, to do research and to 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 look after them, uh, you know, for their well-being, for their and behavior, for their changes. Okay, but if they are if they are if they are kept in the um, uh, forest itself. Mm -hmm. oh, we can't. We can't do that. I think uh, may, uh, so. Maybe there is some uh, problem with the space because forest will be, you know, too large, uh, so that they, they may not able to find where the species are. Okay. So uh, anyhow, this is anyhow, there is an argument. I am against having zoos. Okay. So let animals be where they are supposed okay. to be. Okay. So here is a debate. Learners, please okay. work. Read the poem again many time. Then make your arguments <laughs> in favor or against yes, zoos. Yes. Are zoos necessary? for the protection uh, of or the conservation of the in the conservation of the animals okay uh, 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 let us uh, see here are zoos necessary for the protection and conservation of some species of animals okay uh, brainstorm your ideas okay. then write it in the form of a debate okay this is what uh, let me stop it and also i request learners uh, who are is watching and parents teachers mm -hmm. you may send your request for as a particular lesson particular grammar item need to be i mean discussed we we, right. uh, we we will do it right. and i think we should stop it here yes so yes thank definitely. you very much learners please read the poem again and read about how zoos are made right mm -hmm. and also we would request you to if you do something any activity or any kind of poem you do anything activity you do regarding this poem we would love to uh, you know read about your uh, homework your assignment your uh, whatever you did you do so dts.class10 at the rate of ciet.nic.in this is the specific email id of class10 if you send us an email we would uh, definitely send it to professor meghnathan he will look after all the emails and definitely reply you on the same thank you very much thank professor meghnathan thank you for nice you. participation <laughs> and for the learners also thank and you very much this is just a strength my strength you know with my uh, viewers and uh, learners and students 
so that I can participate. Uh, you know, encourage you, encourage me. Thank you very much for joining us for this wonderful poem. Thank you, thank you. So this English session comes to an end now. Don't go away. Keep watching. We will be right back with the next session of uh, social science. Till then, namaskar.